Well, it's day two of ice fishing here in northern Minnesota, and if you can believe it, it's even more bitterly cold today than it was yesterday. But this means we'll get a chance to see how ice fishermen can utilize Garmin LiveScope technology from the comfort of their ice houses. All right, Scott, it's a little cold out there on mm -hmm. day two. I think we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We've got this beautiful ice castle set up. We've got the new 8610 um, fish house bundle in here. So we're able to actually hook this unit up to the TVs in this house, as you can see. So we've got a couple of TVs in here. We've actually got a great school of crappies only 100 feet away. So yesterday we kind of chased them around. It was a little bit nicer out. Today it's cold out. We're gonna get out of the elements, kick back on the couch, and kind of wait for the fish to come to us. Yeah, see if they can chase us instead. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, let's grab a rod and get comfy. Heck yeah. Got something teeny tiny. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is not my bait. This is something that I just caught, a little tiny perch. I'll take it, we're catching fish in this cold day, but I can't believe I even just did that. I'll just drop them through the tiny little hole <laughs> and we'll go back to fishing. Might not be big, but it's still fun. If you look here on the TV actually, so that's my bait right here that yeah. I'm lifting up right there. And then when Scott lifts his, his is right there. So we're actually able to watch both of us on the TV, you know, so we only have the one unit for both of us. We don't have to have a bunch of units on the floor. Um, to be able to see these fish. This is pretty cool, actually. After a few hours of simply seeing but not catching any crappie, Brandon Justice was first to brave the elements, followed soon after by Scott and Danny. What do we got? Is this peer pressure, Scott? What's going on? Uh, no, it's not peer pressure, more or less. Uh, we can see him out there and, um, you know, just had Brandon catch one and now Danny's getting suited up to go get one, so. I figured, why not torch myself for just a little while, just long enough to where I can, you know, lose feeling in kind of anything that's exposed to the elements, hopefully catch a crappie, come back in, warm back up, and do the, the dancing jig all over again. You better not he miss it. got it. He's got it. <laughs> not as big here, huh? Oh. oh! I don't know about that! Oh, still got him! <laughs> nice! That's awesome! That was lucky! I tell you what, Beautiful. no doubt! You gotta be fast getting these fish back today. No doubt! Cold weather and wind. At least they're kind of sitting here a little bit. I think they probably moved that school moved on. That was the last fish in that school. Oh. Tell you what, it was painful sitting there in the house watching them. It was worth coming out here and chasing them for a little bit, I think. What do you say we go back in and warm up? Yeah, let's go warm up, yeah, up for a minute. Yeah, so. At least caught a couple. Nice. Time to start feeling limbs again. It was fun to say the least and uh, just a way to have a great adventure. And that's a great thing too, like even with the Yamaha side-by-sides, even the Grizzly ATV that we brought, it's just about the accessories that we have, that full cabin closure and keeping you warm with the heater kit, all of those things are all the way that help you realize your adventure. And what we can do with the Garmin guys, be able to show off what we have technology-wise, and even just being able to see what they have technology-wise too just blows me away. If we had to do it all over again, no question, wouldn't hesitate doing it. So glad that we came out, even caught a couple of crappie on a negative 30 degree day. So it's a win-win to say the least. That's it for ice fishing, folks. Just like Scott Newby said, even with negative 30 degree wind chills, nothing will stop an angler who loves fishing and a good adventure from getting out on the ice. But always keep safety and comfort in mind when you utilize your Yamaha side-by-sides in the outdoors. And if you'd like to get your hands on all the Garmin gear we used in this show, head on over to BassPro.com or Cabela's.com to maximize your chances of finding and staying on top of those fish. Now, where did we put the hot chocolate? <laughs>